Hey guys, welcome to part 8 of the uh, Houdini HDA tutorial. Okay, uh, now let's jump right in. I'm not going to, you know, give too much of an intro and get you guys bored. Okay, uh, so this, will, this should hopefully be the last part of this uh, tu uh, tu tutorial series. Um, of course, this is not the end. Uh, so I'll be continuing to uh, to, uh, to tweak this uh, tweak this grass, you know, uh, maybe in the next parts uh, of this tutorial uh, series we can make uh, how, we can learn how to make <coughs> uh, interactions with the character just like you see in you know uncharted uh, the all the grass blades and plants move away from the character when they walk through. This is something I need I, I want to do for a long time. So this will be, uh, something we will be learning in the future. So for this part, what we'll be learning is uh, right now. If you look at uh, Unreal, the the beautiful grass we we made. Um, so it is it it is um, there is something missing. Uh, can you guys uh, guess what it is? Uh, the tip of the grass uh, of the flower. It looks very stiff, right? So this flower moves like this, like a like a big stick. So it doesn't look very flexible at the at the tip. So that is what I'm trying to trying to do. Uh, I'm trying to do a, <clears throat> a a shader effect inside Unreal. It's very simple. Uh, we'll be using a um, we'll be using a simple grass shader. Uh, uh, no, sorry, simple grass wind shader uh, to uh, to add this effect. Okay. So uh, so we will do that shader first. Then we will go into Houdini and make the changes. Okay. So first, let's open the uh, material uh, for whatever we have here. So under uh, so this is HDA tutorial under material. So you need to open the master material. So this is M underscore grass. Open it. It's in the other other monitor. So this is the uh, this is the material we we made in our last uh, tutorial. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is. Um, I'm going to add something here that will uh, add to this um, AWP means like uh, absolute world position based wind. You can you can name it any anything you want. Maybe it's like pivot pivot based wind or absolute world position based wind or or whatever. Okay. So so what so what I'll be doing right now is right click here and get simple grass wind. So this so this ships with Unreal, so you don't you don't need any any special uh, you know plugin or anything to uh, to get this. So what this does is it gives that nice uh, you know cloth like uh, feeling. So this can be used for flags or you know uh, making grass move. But with just uh, but if you use just the 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 simple grass wind, it will look very unnatural because plants don't move like uh, you know a cloth. So so this, so this, the so the movement we have right now is really good because it's getting getting that randomness starting from the pivot point of the grass blades. Now, what I'm going to do do, do do is I need to connect all these inputs. Okay, so we have density. So all these are scalar parameters. Okay, so once you get, if you want to get a scalar parameter, just press uh, keep pressing one on the keyboard, then then left click. So I'm going to make three of these. Then right click and just convert the parameter. Okay, so for the first one, uh, so I'll just say grass wind, GW. Okay, because just to just just to identify that this is grass wind inside the material instance. Okay, for the second one, grass wind underscore weight, and third one, grass wind underscore uh, speed. So we need these three scalar parameters to control the uh, the effect of the wind, okay, of the grass wind. So connect these to uh, intensity, weight, and speed. So, for, so I just set some default values. So one for intensity, weight I'll give as uh, point uh, one. Now keep it keep, keep it like low values, okay. Speed I'll keep it as uh, point two. It just have um, just rough uh, values so there's nothing um, here to be worried about then next one we need an additional wpo that is the uh, vector 3 
Okay, so vector three I can I can get from this. There's a vector three here, so I'm just drag and drop here. So you don't need any other extra, uh, you know, data for this. Also for vector, vector uh, so yeah. Now we need to specify uh, where this uh, grass wind has to affect. So so in our example, we want this to affect only the tip of the flower, not the entire flower or the entire grass. So that is what we'll be uh, creating inside Houdini. Okay. So we need a vertex paint, so sorry, vertex color node, uh, vertex color node. And we need to multiply this with uh, the simple grass wind. So press M, left click, got multiply, multiply this with, with the, uh, with the uh, simple grass wind. So we are going to use red for this. So later on, I will show you how to change the color. So green, we cannot change because green is used for the pivot based wind or the world position based wind. Um, if we'll use the, so we have three channels, right? The red, green, and blue. So green is already used. Uh, you might ask me why you why I used uh, use green. It is just arbitrary. You can even use uh, use red if you want for the whole grass to to move in wind. So the only thing is that if you use red, we'll have to change this to red. Okay. Uh, then we have uh, simple grass wind. So I just uh, make it into a um, comment. Uh, it is like a simple grass wind okay now what we need to do is we need to add these two okay so i'll just group this into proper group so wind controls so, so, so we already have a group called wind controls i'll add these to the wind control group and then we uh, connect this to uh, to, uh, to 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 our bird position based wind using an, an add so press a on the keyboard and left click you got add so you're going to add this and this to, to, together and these two have to go into the world position offset so drag and drop this into world position offset then you got it now when you save it you won't see any difference okay it'll be the same there's no difference and if you check the material instance uh, I'll have a, a separate uh, I mean three three new parameters like uh, so GW is 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 grass wind as we said density speed and uh, weight okay so these are the three uh, three uh, extra parameters we just got by adding this shader now we'll go into Houdini and we'll add that uh, red color into it okay now open Houdini uh, it's a Houdini I just temporarily turn off this um, show uh, display here okay. For the HDA, go into our um, graph node. Select this, and first, 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 you need to open this uh, edit uh, edit asset properties. Okay, because we need to make some changes to it. Uh, yeah, keep it here. I will just uh, close down the grass blade. We only need the custom flower because that's what we are going to work on. Now open this. And for this, we need uh, we need a temporary uh, flower geometry to uh, to check what is happening. Okay, right now it is it is it is taken from this custom geo that is a default uh, mesh uh, because we cannot leave it empty, otherwise it will show error. So this is a custom geo I just placed here just to uh, it's the same same mesh. Okay, same same flower mesh we are we using inside the HDA. So I, I just drag and drop here so that we can do a test. So now I can see the flower. Okay, so this flower is showing uh, green because uh, so green is a color we applied through this vertex colors. If you check here under this distribution, uh, we have a green value. So RGB, so green is active. So that's why we are seeing green. Now what we need to do is we need to select the top vertices or the points. Sorry, not the vertices, points. Now if you go into this uh, point display, okay, you can see that the uh, the points are properly displayed. On the on the on the mesh so now I want only to select this top points and not anything uh, in the middle because I because I just want to uh, on the top of the grass I mean uh, of the flower to move plus the sides uh, should be uh, having this kind of softness okay so you can decide how um, how uh, you know why do you want this uh, to be okay you can just start from here to here or whatever we'll we'll do just the top section for now so now we need to select these points here okay so the uh, so i'm going to select only the only the top points so what we need to do is uh, we need to create one group okay so right click here 
and create a group. You can name this group anything you want. Uh, so here I'm going to name this group as um, uh, red points. Okay. Or or um, don't worry about red. Um, so maybe uh, uh, top points because because you can you can give different colors to it. So it doesn't matter if it is red or not. And give the same same name for the group. So this group name is more important than this group create. Okay. So group type type keep it at keep uh, keep it as points. Okay. So the rest you can uh, you can keep it as a default you don't have to change anything okay so the only thing you need to be uh, doing here is to select select the points so how do you select the points uh, with a group so you can't do anything with the mouse here so what you do is click on this um, small select geometry uh, arrow here so to click on it now it will uh, it will actually uh, default to uh, no i mean i mean uh, viewport will change to this um, uh this gizmo okay so you'll have to press alt and and uh, and and alt and middle, middle mouse to pan alt and left mouse to uh to, to, to rotate alt and right click uh, to uh, to zoom it is somewhat similar to maya okay now select these points okay uh, so, so so when you select press shift and uh shift to to the multiple select so i'm going to select only this uh, only the side um I don't know why that is happening so each time i press this uh, my language keyboard language that changes to something maybe it's a key combination i'm not sure so shift select multiple points okay so as make sure not to select the center point so these middle points should be uh, should not be selected so make sure that you got all the all the points selected now press enter once you press enter you will see all those uh, all the points that are selected to be displayed here okay so so, the, so these are the point numbers which we just selected so here so after this you don't have to do anything with the group you can just uh, 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 turn off this display points okay now I'm going, you're going to save it now comes the important part so after this custom flower so this is the uh, copy to points now we have the uh, custom flower here okay so now what I'll do is I just make it uh, into three flowers so you know exactly what's happening here. So under um, scatter node, so temporarily increase this to uh, maybe three. Okay. So now we got random colors. We got everything is working. Everything is perfect. Now I need to assign uh, this red color on just on top. So after this custom flower, I'm going to uh, create an attribute randomize. Okay. Node. Now once I create this and display it will show like like everything is like in random colors that is because we have an attribute called cd so cd is for uh, is for color okay so now nothing is set because i need to specify uh, that i need to choose this uh, top group okay so in this there is a um it's a column for group so open this and select top points so now you can see that only the top points are getting this color okay cd but this color is right now it is it is random so i don't need i don't want any random colors i want specifically red so for this um there is a color value specification here okay so i'm just going to give one one for red the rest will be zero okay now now you got um perfect red uh, red colors but we are not done yet so if you use this technique it will not work okay trust me i tried so this this red color has to blend with the green so there's a problem problem here so green is being uh, being used for the uh, for the world position movement uh, but red is used for the uh, grass simple grass wind so the problem with this is that these two will not, will not be separated because these two are added together so we need to add the colors into one okay so how will you add them so if you if you check in uh, Unreal uh, shader, uh, let me open it. So here we are actually uh, adding adding these two into one. If you look here, so 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 we have an add. Okay, you you have to do the same thing in uh, in Houdini. So Houdini, uh, so Houdini go to atomize, uh, attribute randomized node, and 
change this uh, operation to add value. So once you add value here, this red color will be added to uh, to the green. Okay, that's why you're seeing this kind of weird color color difference. But but that's okay because we have different shades of red right now. So that's, that's perfectly fine. Okay, now I'll just name this um, top color. Okay, you can name it whatever. It doesn't matter. So now uh, I'll just uh, switch this scatter back to one. Okay, uh, and just connect this our default geometry into the uh, into the node. I mean into the graph, and move my display section to output. Okay, so that I will have everything back to default. Now we have one one important thing thing to do. Okay, so under the properties of the HDA, uh, we are going to create a separate folder for this. So I created a stem folder for just a stem. Okay, so so we have two parts of the flower right now. We have a stem, and also we have the flower, uh, the top of the flower. Okay, uh, for the vertex colors. So keep keep uh, keep this as a as a tab. That is perfectly fine. I'm going to drag a, a, another folder for the vertex colors and name it as uh, top or tip color. Or, or 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 just tip is good. Okay, stem and tip. Uh, even even if like if you want to elaborate it, you can just type flower tip, flower tip. So that's a group. Keep it as a tab. So tabs will be uh, like well organized. Now we need to drag in two values for this. Okay, one is uh, for the uh, for the attribute randomize. No, I, I, I have three values. Just like the uh, the stem stem has three values: min min value, max value, and uh, global seed. So for the flower tip. Uh, I'm I'm going to revert this back to uh, one for all, okay? Because that is that will be what you'll be seeing when you uh, start the HDA. And under options, uh, we have a global seed. Global seed, keep it as ten. Under distribution, I'm going to drag in this min value, okay? And max value. Plus, under options, I'm going to drag this global seed. So. For the min value, I'm going to keep range as 0 to 1. Same for max, 0 to 1. So I don't want anything below 0. Global seed, you don't have to change change anything. Uh, 10 is good. Same thing for the stem. Min value, uh, 0, 1. Max value, 0, 1. Now our uh, HDA is complete. Apply it. Accept. Okay. Now let's go back to uh, the object level. Uh, like Just for safety, I just save it. Uh, save asset. Save it. Now, when we switch to um, this uh, HDA, we are seeing that it, the the uh, the flower tip has white because we set one one for the uh, for the color for RGB. Like when you have all RG and B one, that means it will be white. So here, what we, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, check if everything is good. So we have this stem, we have vertex colors, global seed. Okay, yeah, so it works. And for the flower tip also, we have a global seed. So right now it doesn't work because it is just uh, one. So just for red, I'm keeping one. The rest, I'm going to keep them zero. Okay. So now we have colors like properly added and and uh, and showing this as the you know very nicely uh, separated. Now this global seed has some issue. So I, I like I saw this happening before. So what I got to do is go into uh, this HDA, I mean this graph, and just uh, make it like a like a random thing here. So just move it. Then when you go back to the widget mode, it should work. Save. Now here, uh, global seed, and it still 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 has some has some problem. Oh okay. <clears throat> so don't worry about that. Sorry about that. So this is actually global seed does does not work for this because we have. We have only range for a one one to one. So if you keep it, keep the ranges like a 0.5 to one, then we have uh, global seed working. If you look carefully, you can see that there's a global seed change. Okay, but I don't want to do this. Do this now. If you like, if you want, it's up to you. You can you can do a change here. But uh, I'll keep the min value and max value as one to one, because all the flowers will have the same uh, kind. Of, oh, you know what? I'll keep it as uh, min value as like. Uh, 0.5 and max value as 1. So 
there will be a slight difference in, in, in the red color. Okay. Now it is it is just a matter of uh, exporting it. So select the HDA and hit save to disk. Okay. Now inside Blender, just import this. Import OBJ. Then our file is right here. Then we got it. Now we need to check if the uh, if the uh, vertex colors are getting uh, getting exported. Okay. So go into um, data, color attributes. Then we have it. Okay. So we have vertex color attribute uh, getting imported into Blender. So so everything is good. Just to make sure that everything is there, just go to vertex paint and we have it. Okay. So that is perfect. Now uh, now we need to export this as an FPX. So export FPX and this is a file we uh, exported last time. So selected objects. Okay, that's the only thing we need to check. So in Unreal. Uh, so just 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 watch what is happening here. Okay, uh, I'll keep the um, keep the instance uh, here and going to meshes. Reimport. Now, if you look very carefully, you can see that the uh, the the grass tip has has a very slight softness applied to it. Now, it is not very obvious, so I'll just increase the uh, the weight, zero point five. Yeah, you can see see that it is it is it is it is like it is swaying, you know, uh, in in its own way. Uh, but it's a little bit too much, uh, so I just reduce this to 0.2, and maybe increase the speed to uh, maybe 0.5. Now it's very uh, like really obvious. Uh, maybe 0.3. Yeah, you can yeah you can tweak it to to whichever value you want. Now you got that nice no that nice softness to the uh, to the tip. So you can do you can do whatever you want with it. Actually, you can choose like you know. Uh, uh, blue color or red color for the tip or if you want the whole whole grass flower to uh, to have this effect you can do it okay so this is just a matter of uh, you know um, just 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 a matter of cho choosing with, with I mean whether you want this uh, wind effect on or not for that uh, uh, for the tip okay so this is how you uh, you create that that secondary um, wind effect so yeah so that is our uh, so that should be the end of our uh, tutorial series uh, hope you guys had uh, had fun uh, creating this uh, this grass starting from all the way from houdini uh, using blender as intermediary software then in unreal we created the pcg and uh, we made uh, we spawned the grass uh, in a very simple uh, terrain and uh, yeah and that is uh, i think that is pretty much it if you have any uh, like any like any questions uh, or 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 comments uh, please make sure to post in the uh, in the comment section below and i'll be uh, i'll be uploading um, I, i'll be adding a link to to uh, to the to the textures i used also i will try and include the uh, the hda uh, with the with the description okay uh, thanks for watching guys and uh, make sure to uh, like and sub sub subscribe okay have fun thanks for watching bye